Do you ever get your throw line impossibly hung in the top of a tree? Too high to reach, no branches above it to send up a rescue line, or it's just wrapped way too tight around a little tiny limb. Here's one trick to use mechanical advantage to pull it loose that might not get you dead. Real short video, I just wanted to show everybody how I got a uh, throw ball unstuck. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. There's some cases where you get a throw ball stuck way out on a tip. There's no way to climb out to it. There's no way to get to it. There's no way to throw over it and, and pull up with another throw ball to lift it over. Um, if you get it stuck, it's just stuck. And the only way to get it down is to give it a good hard pull. The trouble is, even the best throw lines have some stretch to it. And anytime you've got stretch, you've got potential energy that gets stored in that line. So the harder you pull, the more potential energy is stored in that line. And as that thing stretches tight, it's building up pressure. And when it cuts loose, you've got a bullet flying right at your head, you know, with a 12 ounce throw weight or 16 ounce or whatever you throw with. So uh, I'm going to use some MA uh, and a redirect to get myself out of the line of fire so I can give a little bit more force pulling down on that line to, to uh, rip that throw bag loose. And, uh, you may still lose the throw bag, but uh, uh, if, it, if it wedges up there and the line breaks, but then at least you've got your line back and it's, uh, it's not hanging down on the ground anymore. So for this, I've got a base linker that I made here, four lines of, of climbing spec webbing sewn together. Uh, and I've used that for, uh, for light rigging and stuff for, uh, as a base linker. I'm gonna use this dually pulley. Uh, it's way too big for throw line but uh, it's, it's what I've got and it's gonna work just fine. All right, so my uh, throw ball is still up on the very tip of this tree. Nowhere near where I could possibly get it. So I used my, my trusty scam tie, putting a, a uh, adjusted munter with an extra hitch right here. And that created three to one MA. All right, one thing the video doesn't show very well is how I tied that munter hitch up at the top, so I wanted to show you real quick. Take your carabiner. This one's got a pulley on it. It's ideal. Clip it over your line. You wrap your line around that top rope like this. Do a couple wraps on it, especially tiny lines like this. They tend to slip a little bit. And then you come back down and you go through the carabiner again. So now I've got a nice loop down here. That's going to give me MA pulling through this uh, this pulley on top, and also I can put it through the pulley down below. I can put it through the second pulley, and that will redirect it and get me out of the way. So when this uh, when it comes down, I don't get hit. Now, of course, the beauty of this system is not only that uh, it holds really well; it's self-tightening. So the harder you pull, the harder this tightens. But it's not actually a knot. If I need to go back and move the carabiner up, which is something I had to do, it's really just a matter of going back up here lifting on it and that thing will slide up and adjust and then I can tighten it back down on there and it works just as good with rope as it does with a, pull, a throw line like this uh, then of course the uh, the other beautiful thing about this system is that if this gets up in the tree where I can't reach it anymore and for some reason I need to abandon this or reset it or move it somewhere else all I have to do down at the bottom is just release that that loop and then pull it out I got it back. Now, as you can see here, when I pull the slack out of my system, I've got uh, the line I can pull here and get myself out of the way. I've got the loop coming down from the uh, carabiner up on top on this side, and then on the other sheave here, uh, it's coming down just acting as a redirect. So I'm not actually getting any MA out of that. Let's see if I got enough range in the system. And I don't. All right, so I think I need to do my tying in a little farther away. I might take a lower tree and uh, see if I can get some more range because I'm bottoming out in my MA system. It's just not quite cutting loose. Well, let's try it again. All right, so I'm moving my base linker off of this tree over to this guy over here. Should give me a little bit more range. All right, let me give it a pull. Got my MA moving. Tighten it up. Got this coming down.
just not coming loose. Wow. <laughs> Tearing that tree up, that's for sure. There it goes. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so check this out. Like the way that rope cut into the branch. It was halfway through it already when it ripped loose. There we go. Alright, so that's one way to uh, get your head out of the range. Out of range of a throwback when it's going to come bulleting down out of a tree. Have fun with that.